When, uh, when me and my sister were growing up, he absolutely made pains to make sure that we understood the work that he was doing. He, he never tried to shelter us from it. I mean, maybe in the finer details of the really grisly truth of war. Um, but in terms of what was happening, I think he, he felt a responsibility to let his daughters know what was happening. But obviously that's reflected in a wider desire to let people in general know what was going on. I think he saw a lot of similarities between the Welsh and the Vietnamese um, and kind of being these smaller, um, more kind of village-based communities, um, being um, having a kind of imperial yoke put upon them, as it were. There's something profoundly haunting about you know, in particular my dad's images, they, they stay with you long after you stop looking at them. He had a, he had a kind of higher purpose, as it were, in, in Vietnam in particular, in that, yes, you would see and experience horrible things, but the importance of being there and getting that work done and documented I think far outweighed any kind of trauma that he experienced. 